G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week's episode, we're going to start building a custom tray for the MK Triton. So let's jump in and have a look. Alright, so let's start cracking on building this tray then. First we'll check out our plans and then we'll see what we're doing. Alright, so here's our plans for the tray and we'll be working with. So you can see there's our 3D view. A front headboard view, side view, and also top view. So pretty in-depth plans, pretty straightforward, easy to follow. So today, we're going to start by building the sides, even get them all tacked in, and we're going to start putting our cross bracings in. So for the sides here, I'll be using 75 by 25 mil, 2 mil steel. And for the inner bearers, I'll be using 50 by 50 by 1.6 mil thick steel. All right, so I've gone and pre-cut my sides for the tray already so we've gone for a size of 1775 by 1675 and that's to accommodate a 1775 wide aluminium canopy that's going to sit nice and flush on the edge of these sides of the tray <laughs> the sides pre-cut and beveled at 45 degrees got it all square got it all clamped in it's gonna go and tack the corners in there hold it up and see what it looks like after we've tacked it so before I go and tack all these corners in it's gonna give you a little tip if you take your arc rods and you cut them in half it actually makes it a lot easier when you're trying to tack as you're not waving around a full rod you get a nice little 150 length rod and you can do your tacks in it makes it a lot easier <laughs> degrees still all squared so I'm pretty happy with that as you can tell by the tacks definitely not a welder all right so now I'm gonna go cut up the cross members uh, they're gonna be cut at 16 25 because they're 50 mil short to allow for the 25 mil on the sides so I'm gonna go cut them and we'll come back once they're all done Cross members cut up, we're all sitting in place roughly. So next, it's gonna grab the flap disc, it's gonna grind off that primer just to expose the edges a bit more, and especially on the size of your twos, so we can get a good contact for the welds. And they're all gonna be tacked in three mil off the bottom here. So this is actually the bottom of the tray at the moment. So we'll tack them in three mil up. So when the plate goes on, uh, they'll be sitting flush with the top of the tray rather than having a recessed plate on the top of the tray. Oh, my God. 
some progress. I've got all the ends flat back. Also, as you can see, we've marked the, the center lines. So, you can line it all up. We know it's gonna be nice and equal. So we'll have six nice even gaps over the whole tray. And then eventually put some noggins in through here. Have a water tank on there. Update on the tray. So let's have a look what we've done. So I flipped the tray over. Now we're looking at the top side of the tray. As you can see, slightly recessed down those bearers. And that means we'll have a nice flush top mount surface when we put that 3mm alley plate on the top. <laughs> so all that's left to do on those bearers is run some feed of welds up on those corners and then we'll have a look at what we're going to do at the top here keep it all nice and flush we're going to run around that with a mig and then we've got these corners to do and that means all the welding on the main body is done so coming back to our plans we can have a look we've done that side that side the back and then this side so all that's left is now we've got to have a look at these back edges which if we come onto these plans here we can see I've re pre cut these. I've just got to bevel in these angles and then we can have a look at doing this back end, which will tack on right underneath here and then come on the angle and then run back flat that way. So we'll have some nice funky sequential lights to bolt in on the back there. And here we've got Ember. Hey. She's my little Kelpie, one year old. Big ball of fun. Hey, Emma. A few moments later. Cool, so now I've got the sides of the back end on. I'm gonna weld in this big cross support, which is gonna go from here all the way under, across there, and it's gonna hold our lights and number plate on the back there. So, Almost finished. Next is just the headboard. All right, so that's all the time we got for in this episode. So next, I'm gonna start in the headboard and then we'll start laying some three mil alley plate for the back. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next episode. Catch you guys.